Hi, I'm Christine and welcome to Horse Hacks. So it's really important that you get your horse's teeth done every year. So today, Miss Violet has got an appointment with the dentist. I reckon Violet. So she hasn't had the dentist before, so it can be a bit strange and weird for them, a little bit uncomfortable, but with a good dentist, it can keep the home fairly calm and relaxed and ultimately more comfortable because their teeth are nice and filed and not poking into the sides of their mouths and causing pain and discomfort. Here we go. Good morning, my name's Catherine. I'm an equine dentist, and this is my lovely patient, Miss Violet, for this morning. Um, she is a possible quarter horsey <laughs> thoroughbred mix. Um, so we're gonna have a little look at her teeth. So firstly, I feel around this area here, which is the temporomandibular joint. So that's the main joint responsible for chewing. So it's kind of like the hinge, open and closes, yeah? So we have a little feel, make sure it's not tense around through there. And she's not reacting in any way when I'm feeling around here, so that's good. Then I feel on the lower jaw, make sure there's low lumps, bumps or anything like that. We peel back and check the incisors, see what they're looking like. Her gums look really healthy, there's no gum disease, no recession, they line up really well. So we'll check what's going on with the back molars. So I use my contraption, the gag here. So that goes on nicely over her face like this. Good girl, Miss Violet. So we don't know what Miss Violet's going to be like when we do her teeth. She's only new possibly to this. So we'll hop this in, kind of like a bit. It just helps me have a look what's going on in her mouth. Oh, Miss Violet, I know. It can be a little bit strange for some horses. Good. Okay, don't mind my back. We'll like straighten this up for Miss Violet, make sure she's comfortable. Okay. All right. It could be a bit awkward for some horses, like I said. So we'll give it a little crank open and see what's going on with the molars. Make sure there's nothing too sinister going on in the back there. So horses' teeth grow between three and four mils a year. Now, unfortunately, when we domesticate horses, they're not chewing as much as they would be in the wild. You know, 14, 12, 16 hours a day, you know. That's what they normally would be chewing like. Um, so I'll pop my hand in there, palpate, make sure there's nothing crazy going on. So, so far not too bad. There's no gaps in between her molars, so that's always a good start. Um, her edges on the top, so the top teeth get sharp on the cheek side. Um, and they're pretty serrated, so if you can imagine a knife when they're serrated, they look like that, yeah? Oh. And that's what they feel like. So if you feel like a serrated knife, or like oyster shells are probably a good analogy of how sharp they can get. So they feel really sharp. She's also slightly hooking over on the first upper molars. So teeth should be sitting nice and level like so. And with Miss Violet, she is slightly like this. Okay, so what ends up happening, that front molar is not completely level with the first lower molar. So it doesn't grind as well as efficient. So we need to feel what's going on the lower lot molars because that can also contribute to an alignment issue, yeah? All right, so that's good news. She slightly ridges up at the back, but nothing too sinister. So we need to fix that first upper molar. So it is sitting a lot more level with the lower molar so it can grind more efficiently, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse her mouth out with mouthwash. So it's similar components to our mouthwash. Pretty pink color. All right, Miss Violet, here goes nothing. So this is really good stuff for the gum. Like ours, like I said. <laughs> She's, oh. <laughs> Good girl. Alright, so I put my head in there. You know, we can feel, but we should look too. Oh, so by the feels of things, she hasn't had her teeth done in a long time, if ever. Yeah. I'd be surprised yeah. if she's had them done ever, to be fair. So this can feel, feel a bit funny for her. Yeah, for sure. Um, Ready to file it, and then she'll realise we're not trying to kill her eventually. Good girl. Good girl. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. I can't see any gaps, like I said, now. I couldn't feel any. Um, doesn't look like there's any malfunctions going on with her teeth. Um, she doesn't have any cavities or anything like that, so they all look Good. really lovely and healthy. They're just desperately need doing. Need a trim. Right, so hopefully all goes well. We'll be able to treat her all in one go, and she'll be right for 12 months. Awesome. Okay. Here goes nothing, little lady. Should we do it? Good girl. 
Right. So, usually I let them walk around if they need to. Sometimes it's easier if they're moving their feet and not reacting. For sure. All right, little lady. Are you ready? I've been asked hand tools versus power tools okay as you can see I can hear a lot of noise happening with my hand tool here I can also feel so when I'm filing I can feel how much tooth I'm taking off um, so that gives me a good indication of where I'm at with her teeth um, unfortunately with a power tool you lose those sensations right and you know you run the risk of sometimes taking too much tooth off um, so, you know, look, I mean, there's certainly some pros to using a power tool. If you've got a horse that had not had a dental in many years and it's got centimetres of tooth that possibly need to be uh, taken off, it certainly can be useful. Um, so there's definitely some pros to using power tools. But for Miss Violet here, she's okay with a hand tool. It's pretty routine what she had going on in here. You know, a couple of extra bits on her first upper molars, but... Nothing too crazy that needed to be adjusted. So certainly, you know, hand, hand tools are uh, definitely my cho choice. Um, it also doesn't scare the horse as much, I guess. With a power tool, you mm, definitely point. would yeah. require sedation because you can imagine coming at you with a power tool can be a little bit scary. You'd also hope that um, whoever's using the power tool also is running um, flushing it with water to keep it cooled, uh, yeah. okay, because you also don't want to heat up the tooth. You know, if you heat up the tooth, you run the risk of heating up the pulp canal, which contains all the live stuff in there to keep the tooth alive and healthy and the ligaments and blood supply. Um, and then if you kill that, then basically you basically kill the tooth. So, yeah, so that's, you know, it's definitely fine to use a power tool, but, you know, best to choose the best person for it um but like i said i'm happy with my power my hand tools um i get the job done just as good <laughs> Oh, big sigh. Good girl. Is that all right? I know, I know, I know. Good. Hey, they line up even better. Let me check. Look at that. Lots of chewing and grinding going to happen there. It sounds like a happy dentist. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, good oh, girl, yeah. Violet. Good girl. And I think your front teeth are fine. There was no food stuck anywhere. You can smile. They look nice and clean. Oh, nice beautiful. Lady teeth. And she is all done. Well thank done. You. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. Hey. Good boy. Well, there you have it. Miss Violet's teeth are nicely filed and she is all good to go for a whole nother year. So the benefits of having a horse's teeth filed is that they can grind their food up more effectively and more efficiently which means that they can get more nutritional value out of everything they eat. And the other thing is that that means they're going to be more comfortable while they're wearing their bit with their bridle while they're being ridden. And obviously horse comfort is of highest priority. So that's really, really super as well. <laughs> Miss Vital already looks happy. She's totally comfortable and relaxed. She's got no bother from having that experience take place. In fact, it's all adding to the learning, which is awesome. So it was a really good positive experience. So hopefully you've learned something today. If you have, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, do that now. And we'll see you next time on Horse Hacks with Christine Armashur. Thanks for watching. Bye.